Brisbane Airport has just been officially named a suburb, but as Bruce Page recalls, if it wasn't for World War II, planes might be landing in a completely different part of the city. It was a warm Brisbane welcome in the days before gangways. Passengers forced to brave the elements on the open-air tarmac. With a bonus for the public, a front row view of visiting celebrities. <laughs> Kings of pop, even the Queen, separated from fans only by fences. First chain wire, then glass. It was a far cry, though, from the paddock that greeted our first flight back in 1922. Not much better for Sir Charles Kingsford Smith in 1928, after the first Pacific Ocean crossing. And in 1930, a fence almost grounded Amy Johnson when she became the first woman to fly solo from Britain. In 1931, Eagle Farm was closed down, deemed too swampy. Operations moved to Archerfield Airport. Thanks to the Americans, it was rebuilt during World War II as a military base. When the war ended, Hangar 7, which once hid top secret projects, became a domestic terminal and flights again resumed from Eagle Farm. By the 60s, the site reached its limits. Too small, no air conditioning and nightmare parking. The final straw, new heavier jumbo jets and the 82 Commonwealth Games. The runway landing areas were failing quite rapidly and we had to often repair them on a weekly basis. But for Expo 88, a brand new purpose-built airport. The international terminal following in 95, making a touchdown in Brisbane a world away from those pioneering aviation days.